Oh! Try the. Hi, everybody, and welcome to TWF uh, Impact. Come on, Impact Wrestling. And today on Impact Wrestling, we're going to see. <sighs> we're going to see here. We're going to see if we can get. You know, the TWF uh, Allegheny County Champion. Um, Paulo Cruz here. Shrack is here. Today, Shrack says, I want to have the number one contendership. I want to fight Apollo Cruz for the TWF Allegheny County Championship. Can we make that happen? Yes, I believe, Shrek, we can make that happen, Ric Flair says. You see, Shrek, I find a lot of potential in you. You haven't been around lately. Uh, that, I don't know if there's anything to do with anything, but I think I can make that happen. Well, do you actually think you can make a better ring without it without falling down in it? No, I don't think I can do that. Then closest thing can come to is putting tape down. But anyway, yeah, Frack, I think I can make that happen for you. You see, you remind me of one of my good friends, Double A Arn Anderson, because you've got all that tough ability and you're talented. And if you want to fight Apollo Crews for the TWF Allegheny County Championship, then by all means, do so. Yeah, but what if Aries and Lukey try to stop it from happening? Don't worry about Aries and Luki. I wouldn't worry about them today. Well, we heard from the Chief Executive Officer, Ric Flair, and now we have our match here for the TDF Elliott County Championship. First, the challenger from far, far, far away. He is Shrek, and he is the TWF Allegheny County Champion, Apollo Cruz. Ding, ding, ding. And I was... Apollo Cruz, who is oh right down taking down Shrek, and now Shrek right now taking him right down too. And Apollo Cruz, who has issue, who has a who has a well, actually can make an argument that it's actually he's got a problem with Medusa, who is still trying to get her chance for the TWF Allegheny County Championship again. And Track right now trying to do his version of the Moonstall, and he misses. And Apollo Crews picking him up. The referee fell down bouncing by accident because of all this ring is structured in a trash can. Apollo Crews picking up. Track down. Oh. Now he's going to do the Grill Plus Slam. He's going to do the Moonsaw. He did the Grill Plus Slam. He's doing the Moonsaw now. Oh. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner. And still, TWF Allegheny County Champion, Paulo Cruz. And Paulo Cruz helps track up. And they both shake hands. And that's very rare to see good sportsmanship between wrestlers, especially if it's not been storyline to do so. Or not been booked to do so. And it's been quite a changes going on here in the Toy Wrestling Federation. A lot of changes, some good, some bad, depending on who you talk to. Oh, here comes, well, yeah, speaking of, of them, 
Here's Luki and Ares in a ring, and we'll see if they'll actually be able to stand up or just fall over. Not going to work. All right. First off, not happy at all. Okay. First off, here he says, Zena, how dare you name Ric Flair as the new chief executive officer of the Toy Wrestling Federation and make him your and bestow upon him, bestow upon him that position. And how dare you then make him be your second in command and have him put power over us and then book us both to fight each other. Really stupid. You know, Zena, I understand that this is just messed up. Yeah, Luke, he said, how dare you embarrass us? I'm the general manager. He's the commissioner. And you should show more respect for that. You didn't tell anyone about that. And how dare you make that decision without telling us about it? Well, let's see. Apparently, you don't see too highly of me. Or Luki, of course. So, other minor power. Well, apparently, they're... Well... I don't know if you can see it, people. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Way over there on that side is Zena's office. And right there you can see, very small, it's, it cluttered a lot of stuff there. Pens, um, tape, a phone, stuff. And Ric Flair is already already talking with Zena. Now he's basically coming out now. Well, I just had, I just came talking with the owner, Zena, and as, yes, she has named me the chief executive officer of the Toy Wrestling Federation to keep you two in line. Now, I don't know how Stone, how Stone Cold Steve Austin or Angel or Aladdin would have handled the situation, but I know how I'm going to handle the situation. So, what you two need to do is you need to stop abusing your power. And you two are only my direct direct authority. I oversee you two. And we put it this way. Nobody wanted you two people. No one wanted you as commissioner. Nobody wanted you as general manager. That was made in haste because the former commissioner for quit. And before Kang relinquished his position, he named you as for his successor, mostly in haste because they couldn't think anybody else. And Lukey, nobody wanted you either. Okay? So that was the compromise. You have grievances. I understand the grievances that you have. Now you both get going. Because you don't want to know what the nature boy will do Woo! Gonna do if you don't to leave. Yeah, Ari said, sure, I'd like to see Xena myself and talk the matter over with her. Oh, she'll be around when you want to see her. So you too, you are going to wish that you never ever started messing with us. Yeah, you're gonna wish you never made the god of war or the god of mischief your foes. Just in case people you wonder what the word foe is, and you always use that word. Foe is the European Germanic equivalent to the romance word enemy. Well, it looks like basic it looks like that uh, that's all the time we got here. We hope you all enjoyed this episode of uh of TWF uh, Impact Wrestling, and we'll see you tomorrow for TWF uh, main event.